Can coronavirus be used for bioterrorism? In 2014, the world avoided a horrific global outbreak of Ebola thanks to thousands of selfless health workers, the innate characteristic of the Ebola virus, and a lot of luck. Bill Gates said, If anything kills over 10 million people in the next few decades, it is most likely to be a highly infectious virus rather than a war. Not missiles, but microbes. The source of the virus could be a natural epidemic like Ebola, or it could be bioterrorism. He warns that a respiratory pathogen can kill 30 million people in less than a year. He gave this warning few years ago. Looking back at history of epidemics, Hispanic flu back in 1918 was spread through the air and more than 33 million people died in that global epidemic. Based on the Ebola outbreak that killed more than 10,000 people in Africa, there were no systems to prepare for a global epidemic. Ebola was contained due to several factors. We are grateful for lots of heroic work by the people who volunteered. We are lucky that Ebola does not spread through the air. By the time you are contagious, most people are so sick that they are bedridden. It did not get into large urban areas. With the coronavirus, people can catch the virus but they feel well enough to get on the plane, go to a market, or watch a movie instead of being bedridden like in Ebola. Looking back at historical biological terrorism, the first publicly recognized U.S. bio-attack was perpetrated by the Rajdishis in 1984, but the attack was not officially attributed as a biological weapon attack until 1997. In 1984, followers of Indian guru Rajnishi, who had open views on spiritual and sexual freedom, deliberately contaminated salad bars with salmonella in Dals, Oregon, causing at least 751 known illnesses and 45 hospitalizations. The Om cult attempted multiple bio-attacks in Japan during the early to mid-1990s, releasing botulism-causing toxins, then releasing sarin nerve gas in a Tokyo subway that injured 50 and killed 12 people. In the United States, powdered anthrax was employed through the USPS directed to several news organizations and senators, injuring 17 and killing 5 people in 2001. Biotechnology today allows biological weapon development to be conducted in extremely small areas with easily obtainable equipment. CRISPR is a technology for genome editing and is available online for about $150 for biohackers. This has been available in the last few years. These relatively low barriers to entry combined with a high potential for casualties make the biological weapon terror threat important to assess correctly. Terrorists can and have attacked a vast array of targets with anything from mild pathogens to very deadly ones, instilling fear and making a bold statement about a group's ability to inflict damage. There is no need to panic, but we need to get going because time is not on our side, said Bill Gates two years ago. Can coronavirus be used for bioterrorism? Yes, but I hope that it isn't. Being prepared is key. The key factors are early diagnosis and quarantine the people that are exposed. Thank you for listening. Be safe and be healthier.